Welcome back to part two of Partner Workout Edition. This time we're doing upper body. Say hello. Hi. Who's this? I'm Steph. This is my partner. <laughs> so yeah, no Luke again, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I would say more fortunately, yeah? Okay. yeah. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Luke. Anyway, no banded workout today. Back to using your partner for working those weights. And all we need this time is either a vacuum cleaner handle or a broom handle or even a towel. Uh, this is the only piece of equipment we're going to use safe upper body with our partner. So we won't waste time put, uh, pussyfooting around this time. Just remember to subscribe and remember to share this video because I know all the partners who are slobbing out together should be working out together. We'll move on to the first exercise, which we're gonna do is shoulder press. Now there are two variations of shoulder press. There is barbell variation. So I'm gonna sit down on the floor. It's better that you sit down on the floor rather than a chair because your partner's able to get a better angle. And then you get into your shoulder press position. So uh, elbows tucked in and press up. Your partner resists you. And then wait till you lock out your arms at the top and your partner pushes down. Just bend your elbows ever so slightly. And then don't resist too much if you're a lot stronger than your partner. Just do enough that it works you both a relative bit. And then just keep pushing and back down. So if you fancy the dumbbell version or the Johnny version, turn your hands in this time. So your hands are facing together in a fist and then your partner pushes down on your fist. And you resist, or she resists, should I say, and I push up. And then I resist, and they're always locked out. Also like the it works your partner's triceps quite hard who's assisting the exercise. So anything for eight to 10 reps, make sure that you don't hurt your partner and don't overdo it. So just enough resistance, communicate properly the way partners should do. And then next exercise, we'll be moving on into chest. <laughs> Okay, uh, going into the next exercise. So it's triceps and biceps all at the same time. So if your partner's holding the bar or towel or whatever you've got, um, just as long as it's rigid, nice and firm, I'm gonna get my hands this facing this way on the outside and Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie is gonna get her hands on the inside in a tricep position. So I'm gonna do a normal bicep curl. So I'm pulling up and Steph's resisting me in tricep position. And then when I get to the top, Steph pushes down in a tricep extension. Sorry, a little bit too much force there. And then I, it's always straightened up. And then repeat, so I'm pushing up now. Steph is resisting, and then Steph pushes down, and I resist on the biceps. So, yeah, again, once you've done that, you can switch over. So I'm going narrow now. Steph wide, Steph bicep curls up. I resist, I resist, oh bloody hell, love. And then, I push down on the tricep extension while Steph resists. And this is a good workout for both of you. It's like two for one. Yeah. And yeah. So there we go. That's tricep curl. Come on, Steph. We're not sunbathing, you know. <laughs> Bloody hell. So. <laughs> now we're going to use the bar. We're actually going to use two exercises for this one. So there is the full body version, and then there is the bar version. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So your partner grabs it at uh, just outside of shoulder width or run about shoulder width. And just like a normal bench press, you keep the elbows tucked in, push to the floor, and your partner resists on the way up. And then, go on, keep pushing, that's it. And then I push down, you resist. Resist, 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 resist. There you go. So Steph's trying to push against me now. Push, 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 push. Now I push down on her. And Steph resists. Okay, that's it. Resist, 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 resist. I can do anything to her right now. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's enough. So <laughs> eight to ten reps of that one, and then we're going to go into the full body one now. So if you're a little bit stronger than your partner, we're going to try and do the full body version. Just be careful. Um, you know this one is quite hard to get right, so this may take a couple of takes. Only do this if you're a competent bench presser. Please do not do this if you cannot lift 
plus 100 kilos or maybe 90 kilos um, just because it depends on how heavy your partner is to be honest go on the scales <laughs> this is a, a good time more than any to check the scales because you know you don't want to be eating too much either check my last video back right so I'm gonna get to the flow get to the flow and then I'm gonna lie down so that's gonna lie across me I'm gonna put my hand under a hamstring under our left hamstring around the gooch area <laughs> then I put my hand right underneath the back and Steph wants to lock her legs out hard and then basically I'm going to push <laughs> up and down make sure you've got a nice grip before you go up and down and make sure your partner's nice and rigid if they're not rigid it'll collapse this one is only to be done if you're a very competent lifter I could do this all day <laughs> But your partner might not be able to, so there you go. Voila! Okay, so next we're going to do shoulder lateral raises. So we're getting into the smaller muscles now. And what we're going to do is going to have my hands out to the side, and lateral raises this, put a slight bend in your elbow, and all you're going to have you do is have your partner stand in front of you, grab the top of your wrists, and then you just, they're resisting you as you're trying to push up, and then as you bring it down, you're resisting them, and then you can switch over. So we'll just demonstrate that now. So. Steps put hands on my wrists. Now I push up and I'm trying to do as best I can to bring it up. And then as I get to the top, Steph's going to push down on me and I'm going to resist until we get to the bottom. And then we'll repeat. And of course, um, when we're done that, we can switch over. So I grab the top of Steph's wrist now and Steph pushes up. And then I resist, I'm not going to resist too much. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And then back down. And Steph's resisting me now, I'm pushing down on her. Oosh, 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 oosh. And we'll do that. We'll do that several times, maybe 12, 15 reps if you can manage it. Yet again, don't resist your partner too much if they're a bit weaker than you. And try and put your best effort in if your partner is the weaker one just to try and put that extra resistance on the other partner. Remember this might not be the perfect workout for everyone because there might be height differences between you lot and someone might be a lot shorter. So, you know, vary it up a little bit. If you can find a, a yellow pages book or something like that to <laughs> heighten up to help, you know, bring the arms up because that might be full range of movement for someone if someone's a lot shorter than you. So just do your best with what you've got at home. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed that. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. That was part two instalment. If you do want any future videos like this, we'll do a full routine for you guys. And of course, that's it really. I don't really have anything else to add, do you? No. No? I'll see you in that next video. Ciao for now. And share, share. <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy. Well, for all of us here at Channel 4 News, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. And thanks for stopping by. But mainly, stay classy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy, I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for stopping by. Stay classy. Ron Burgundy. <coughs> <coughs> oh. huh, you're a real hooker, and oh. I'm going to slap you in public. Oh.